7th. Right? Is it the 7th? Yes, it is. Early morning. It's Monday. It's at 4.25 in the morning. I am getting ready to go to a spin class. Evan's going to the gym in a little bit. So he gets to sleep in this morning. since I'm vlogging now. And these batteries are forever old and they are just not holding a charge like they used to. <laughs> okay, let's switch batteries. Had an amazing spin class. Absolutely glad I finally got up and went because this morning was a struggle to really get up and go. I'm awake. It's gonna be a great Monday, very productive. I got indigestion. I ate Italian food last night, so it's like, oh. Um, but that being said, let's get home and let's get this day going, guys. I'll see y'all here in a little bit. Oh, I burned about 700 and I burned 792 calories in my 45 to 50 minute spin class. So I think that's good for Monday. Okay, I'll see y'all here okay. in a minute. <clears throat> Today is bed changing day. Technically, should have been yesterday, but I was still recovering from our event, so I did not mess with the beds yesterday. Um, I strip all the beds in the house, even though it's just two of us, we sleep in one room, but I do make sure that the guest bedroom beds are ready to go just in case. Um, let's get this bed stripped and fresh sheets put on. Hang on one second. Okay, one of my favorite things to do is truly laundry. I know it's weird. People think I'm crazy. I love the laundry. Um, that's why I can't wait till the first of the year and we can redo this laundry room, make it how I want it. But I truly enjoy doing laundry. Throwing in sheets. What I love about our washer, and, or I guess washer and dryer are new. But I've said this before, one of my favorite things is that all of our laundry soap is auto-loaded already. So I don't have to do anything. I literally put, put them in and push start and it's all loaded. In each setting you can go in and change how much laundry soap or whatever, come, whatever you're using comes out. So like sheets I do a little bit heavier and then we don't use fabric softener. I use um, a little bit of vinegar. Fabric softener is not good for clothing. Sorry, I'm chasing a dog around because he's trying to eat his brother's food. Um, fabric softener is not good for clothing, sheets. It's not good for your towels because it causes your towels not to absorb water. So we use a little, we do vinegar in the fabric softener side and then have it spent, dispense out as little as possible. Sebastian, leave your brother alone. Go, go. And he tries to run around the island. Here is my protein shake this morning. I didn't feel like making a big one. And I needed something because I got a little jittery. Um, containers are cleaned. I was, our pantry, I need to really work on our pantry. This is like a snack bag of just like different little snacky foods that we don't keep all the time. There's that. This just needs to kind of be reorganized. That is not on my list to do today. It's semi-organized. You can kind of tell there's great organization behind everything. I just need to decan things. We're trying new protein powder, so we're trying to figure out what we like and don't like. And I don't want to make labels and containers for any of that stuff yet until we know what we like and don't like. And this just got messed up. It's just a little... It's a little much, but it's okay. Like <laughs> this is all dog stuff when we travel, and the dog sitters here, I make all their food in containers and put it in the refrigerator so it's ready to go. 
and they're labeled with the dogs AM, PM, so she doesn't have to sit there and try to measure out for three dogs and all this stuff. So those always just stay up there. I, I'm thinking I can maybe move those out to the garage into a storage container that we have out there or a storage shelf. I don't know yet, but they're up there and we don't use that top shelf because it's not easy to get to. Okay, let's go put sheets on the bed. The washer's going, let me show y'all the washer. I'm sure I've shown you that before. There's the washer and dryer. They're the bespoke Samsung. We did take the door off the hinges right now because we're thinking about when we redo this laundry room to do an open laundry room. And what we would do, pause that. Okay, we're gonna pause for a second. What we're gonna do is stack the washer and dryer here and take out the cabinets and then have a, be a new cabinet system put here with a countertop and a sink and then cabinets below and then make a pocket door that slides in. But we run into the issue. We have pool equipment, pool stuff here. We have our alarm system and light switches. So a pocket door <sighs> might not work. So we don't know if we're gonna do like a really nice opening. I would like to kind of arch it and just make it a really nice laundry room and do like wallpaper or tile walls in here and really just make it pop and not do like a utility sink but do like a fancier sink but we're going to use it to like clean our shoes and soak clothes so I don't know that's why we're waiting until the first of the year to kind of figure out what we really want to do and plus it's not fun to remodel during Christmas we've been there done that this whole kitchen the stairs and this room was all done in uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas time. Yeah, it's not fun living in your front living room with a makeshift kitchen across here with like a microwave, a hot plate, a crock pot. Um, I don't think we had an air fryer back then, but yeah, it was fun. Okay, let's get fresh sheets and let's get our primary bedroom put back together for the day. Okay. I know y'all heard me talk about the fall event last weekend. Um, went really well. We have our Christmas one that we're planning now. That's November 23rd. So it's literally around the corner. We have already sold out of our vendor spots. We have enough to open a fourth block. But it's just so much work to have that many vendors. I mean... When I say that, I'm blessed for all of our vendors, but this is not my main job. We don't get paid for this. We're a voluntary board for the merchant. And so it's just a lot of work. And so I'm really debating if we open a fourth street. I don't think this year we are, maybe next year because that's increasing our DJ, that's increasing activities, that's increasing just prep time. It's a lot, like, it's a lot. And a lot of these vendors understand, but a lot don't. We have gotten so many people that have sent messages in saying how wonderful the fall event was that they do vendor events all the time. Ours was smooth. And that makes me feel really good because there's only three of us on the board. Technically there's five, but I'm gonna leave that alone. There's three of us that work, that do it. Let's just say that. Um, yes, the lighting just got really bad. I'm pulling out of the driveway. There we go. Um, so I'm fixing to run. Oh, I totally forgot it. I need to take pool water and get it tested. And it's on the back patio. I just filled up the bottle. So with that being said, let me reopen the gates and back up. Um, but we had tons of vendors that have emailed in today and they're just saying thank you so much and all that, which makes me feel really good because these events take a lot of time oh it feels so good here today oh sprinklers are on huh 
I wonder why that sprinkler head's not on. I'm not about to mess with it. Everybody else, oh, that one's turned. I don't understand how this that is just played sprinkler repair man. <laughs> I have no idea why that sprinkler head's not working. I just text our sprinkler guy and he's gonna come out and look at it. And it's not the end of the world because we have fake grass. But we still have the sprinklers come on on it just for like a few minutes uh, to wash off when the dogs go TT -t because it all drains underneath and it just keeps it smelling fresh and it actually keeps the dust and dirt off of it. So it does make, it just keeps the grass clean. Okay, let's run to the pool store and Costco. I am exactly 35 minutes behind my schedule for the day, but that's okay. Let's get this done. I'm off today. I have all the time in the world, right? Okay, okay. bye. Pool checked out good. I just need to add a little bit of acid to it and we'll be perfect. So I love a day where I don't have to spend $300 on something for the pool. But we're getting to that time of year where it's not so crazy anymore. Okay, let's go to Costco, okay, guys. guys. Let's see what we got from Costco. Okay, Gatorade water. Evan really likes these. I really like these. A snack, one of Evan's favorites. Egg bites, obviously for Evan. Man, all this is Evan. His little candies that he likes. Sorry, babe. These are all mostly for you. Now, these are for me. They were sampling them. They were good. I'm going to give them a try. I know absolutely nothing about them, but they tasted good. We needed some more cooking spray. These are for me, or the house, actually. And then just some more of the sauce. Very easy. Whopping $145. So, part of this vlog, I'm just going to put a small grocery haul. We just went to Central Market and picked up some groceries. We picked up two pounds of American Wagyu. Um, two pounds was $20. We picked up... Evan's on a steak frenzy right now. And he picked up two New Zealand... New Zealand... Wagyu beef fillets. Those were 34. Yummy, yummy. He's laughing at me over there. Um, picked up some lunch meat. This is some maple honey ham. This one is smoked garlic pepper turkey. We picked up some maple syrup. Some milk. And then this is one that we're gonna try. We haven't tried this one yet. This one is an organic cold brew coffee milk. So we'll give that a try tomorrow and see if that's good. It's, it's coffee mixed with milk. A yogurt. Evan's been dying to try them. I think he just saw them today. Oh, Evan is alive and well. He's right there. Then, we actually picked this up for lunch, but now we're going to save it for another day. They had them. This was like a deep dish pepperoni pizza. You can go put that in the garage one for me. Evan, it goes to the refrigerator next to your car. Mm -hmm. And then bri brioche bread, right, Evan? Yes. We picked up a loaf of brioche bread and the thing we love about Central Market is when you get a loaf you can have them um, cut it for you and then we picked up another yogurt and then Evan picked up a blueberry pound cake and then we picked up a roasted lemon peppered chicken and that was our grocery haul, and that was 150. 
And then we went by and picked up some protein stuff, but nobody cares about that. Okay, I'll see y'all here in just a minute. Okay, bit. guys, I'm ending tonight's vlog at about 7 o'clock. Um, or today's, not tonight's. I'm so tired. Um, I have a pickleball thing in the morning. I gotta take my mom to the doctor at 8.30. And then I need to go to the grocery store. I need to get gas. Tomorrow's my day off. Also, I'm off Mondays and Tuesdays. And go. <clears throat> There's something else I needed to do. I can't remember. I go go grocery store. I guess that's it. And get gas. Okay, guys. I hope y'all had a fantastic Monday. And I hope you're enjoying Vlogtober. I'm on day seven, so I feel like I've done good. I've filmed every day. I did skip Saturday, but I posted that with Sunday's vlog, so I felt like I still did a vlog every day. So I'm very happy with that. Impressed with myself, because I told myself I was only gonna get like two or three out a week. Knocked out one every day for the week, so I did something right on that. Okay guys, well I hope y'all have a fantastic evening, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye guys.